Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Cody and we are doing an updated guide for New World just so you guys can see that the game's up and running pretty well on Steam Deck but it does require a few changes if you want to be able to load in and out of cities without major issues as that still seems to be an ongoing kerfuffle with the New World on Steam Deck uh, so before we start we'll just jump into our properties here the only thing that we are changing is compatibility. I'm on Proton 8.21 GE, um, and I can show you after showing you around the game how to download this if you haven't got it on your Steam Deck. So we'll just go through from beginning to end to show uh, the game running in Steam Deck form. Uh, so side note, we are running this on the Steam Deck, of course, but I'm also recording off of the Steam Deck, so you are losing a few frames from this recording because of the fact I don't have a display uh, capture card, I should say. So if you're wondering why it's a bit lower than you would imagine, it's because of that. And second, I want to preference this saying I am using Cryo Utilities, uh, using it at 16 gigabytes and recommended settings. Um, so if you're not comfortable using Cryo Utilities on your Steam Deck, I totally understand, um, but that is the best way to play New World is with Cryo Utilities on recommended settings. And what I will do is I will put the link to the uh, YouTube channel which explains how to install it and the pros and cons of Cryo Utilities. I have had in previous videos me showing you how to do it, but I think... Going forward, it's better if I just link to the actual official utilities video because he explains it a lot better than I do. And it's one of those apps where it is fundamentally changing a few system settings. So it, it, it really should be up to you to make that decision. And um, so that's the major one is I'm currently using a the GE Proton, and I am running Cryo Utilities on its recommended settings. As you can see, the load times are a little long here. They're definitely longer in the tooth than they used to be, um, but the game itself actually runs quite well. As you can see here, we're cracking in. And at the end of this, after showing how to install Proton GE, I will go over my control scheme that you can download from the Steam uh, controls so we'll just log in uh, and side note it says 60 up in the left hand corner there that's hogwash it's only because I have um, v-sync enabled because I was playing around with settings these are my personal settings of course you can change these to whatever floats your boat um, and you know you could probably turn. I've got uh, I've got the pretties on a little bit here because I like to look at a nice game. <laughs> I think we all like to look at things that look good, but uh, yeah. So you could probably turn more of these settings down to low to get uh, a a better or more consistent frame rate. But I prefer to have some pretties on screen, so I've got things turned up a little bit further than usual. Once we're in game, we'll go for a bit of a run around, teleport in and out of a city for you, just to see how it's running, and well, to give you guys a idea on how it's running. So, while this loads, I do want to ask, what do you guys think of the latest expansion? Are you enjoying it? I actually haven't bought it yet, um, because I just haven't got around to playing it. I kind of stopped playing... The last New World video was probably the last time I had logged in and spent a lot of time with the game. I've put about 160 hours in this year, which I think is pretty good. But, you know, I'd love to put more time in. But looking to um, play some more. I'm going to quickly do my upkeep before I forget. Uh, so let's do that. Is it this one? No. It's up here, isn't it? Upkeep? No, it is there. Better do my upkeep before I get in trouble. No, that's not it. Um, even scale reach. I don't know. Let's not worry about that now. I will do that after. Okay, so as you can see here, I think this looks really nice. Like, genuinely, 
this looks awesome in my personal opinion. Um, of course we're outside the city so when you're out questing you're going to get pretty good frame rates. As you can see I'm on the oceanic server so if you're on oceanic please let me know we can um, crack into it. This is really good like I think this looks all looks really good. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty solid frame rate out here. I'll find a monster to fight out in the open world for you guys. I don't really think that counts, does it? Oh, I missed it. That's not a great start. Oh my goodness. No, we're just, we'll just keep running. We'll run past that. And what we'll do is once I've killed something, I'll teleport into a city just to show you guys that teleporting around works with Cryo Utilities and the GE Proton enabled. So the game has come a long way since I last looked at it on Steam Deck. It seems like they've definitely, um, Amazon's definitely put a little bit of effort into the um, optimization for the game. It seems to be running way, way better than it used to be. Um, I'm just waiting for these official controls. Like, I don't understand why that's not a thing yet. Like, Come on, guys, you can surely put in the official controls by now. So there we are, for a little monster, we're running around out here, you know. Yeah, the frame rate is dropping below 60, so yeah, that not below 60, below 30 here. I think it's just when you're crossing in between a different... Uh, zones, it, it, it has a small amount of oh there's someone over here what's this guy up to building a camp let's help you build a camp shall we i don't have any flint on me bud so yeah as you can see this is really good oh what's this over here is this a, like an event Oh, is this like for the uh, level 65? Oh, yeah, we're not. We're not. We're not in a position to do a level 65 event, so we're going to run away from that. Um, this guy looks like a badass. So what, from, what we'll do from here is we'll uh, teleport to a city. We'll go here. So I find um, Ebon Scale... to be quite a heavy city in terms of ge geometric density. Um, and the game does suffer a little bit in terms of frame rate when running around here. But because you're not in combat and PvP, I don't really mind. Of course, you may want to have a higher, more consistent frame rate, so you're absolutely able to drop things to low. Um, but as you can see, teleported in, no problem. I've gone out the wrong door. This is the door we want. And as you can see, it, it's dropping down a wee bit, but it's honestly playable like this. So yeah, that is New World on Steam Deck. Uh, these are my control, these are my settings, I should say. Uh, so the only thing in game you want to do is make sure that you have nameplates drop to two, really important. And video wise, I've got it locked to 30. Um, and then I've got custom settings and what I've done is everything's on medium. Very high for post processing because that includes, I'm pretty sure, your anti-aliasing, which gets rid of all those jaggies, which is always really nice. Turn off dynamic resolution scaling. If you want a better performance, you could turn that on. But I find the game starts to look a little bit soft for my liking. Again, I've got VSync on because I've just been testing stuff. We could probably turn that off. Um, and yeah, that's, that's New World in a nutshell on Steam Deck. So it's really good. So now, thanks for watching. After this is just how to install Proton GE. Again, you might not need to know how to do that. You've probably already done it. But if not, stick around till the end and we will show you how it's done. But before that, 
I should show you how to use these controls, correct? So, control wise, you wanna to go to the Steam, and you wanna go to controller settings, configure, and you wanna download this one here, King Salami's Ultimate Controller. And this will give you pretty much all the controls you need to play the game in a reasonable state. So this is gonna give you your, you know, so right trigger is your attack, hold to do heavy, Left trigger is your block. Left bumper is your first ability, your Q. Right bumper is your R, and holding does your F, okay? Pretty straightforward. Uh, then you have your D-pad. Up and down zooms the camera in and out, okay? Pretty good. Uh, and then you have left analog stick is run, if you click it in. Right analog stick is dodge, as you can see. And then on our face buttons, we have Y, which is weapon swap. And then B is crouch and hold B to go prone. A is jump. X is interact, um, as you can see over here. I'll go. I'll come over here anyway because I've got to show you some other things. As you can see, you come up, push X, interact. Right after that, you have your left um, mouse trackpad. This has all your kind of weird little things like accepting and declining invitations. Uh, pulling out your fishing gear, camp, um, viewing players. So you look at someone and then you can click it and it'll bring up their theme of Bobby. So you use your right trackpad as your mouse and use um, the right trigger as your click. Uh, we have your emote screen here. Uh, and then you can turn on PvP and you can, performance is not performance per se, but like your... Uh, if you've got um, your dance, not dances, like your flutes and your... I don't have any instruments, that's why I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, and then you've got your top buttons, so your start button brings up the normal map. Uh, up and down in here also lets you zoom in and out. And then I just use the mouse trackpad and click to go around and do what you need to do here. Alright, the left one brings up your inventory. Holding the left one will let you activate push to talk. And the your potions are on the back buttons on the Steam Deck. So you're going through from L4 to L5 to R4 to R5 in that order. From going from 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now the one little, little trick here is if you're in storage and you want to salvage something, you hold L4 and it'll bring up the salvage option. And so from there, what you can do is salvage things. So you, you could hold the salvage button, then you pull right trigger, and then you pull and hold the salvage button again. Okay? And then on the R4, that will let you quickly rotate items between your inventory and your storage by holding it and then right-clicking with the right trigger. Okay? So that is basically all the controls for um, New World. The only thing I haven't got done correctly, which I hopefully will have fixed by today or tomorrow, is why holding Y lets you mount, but I don't have a mount. So the only thing I'm missing on here at the moment is a way to sheath. The only so they and the other other thing is to allow you to. There was sheathing and there was something else. So I'm thinking about putting sheath on the um, start button by holding it. Will let you sheath. And the other thing I want to show you is for healing. So say you got your healing stick out. You pull L and it will lock on. Oops. So you tap that one and then you push up and down on the D-pad to scroll through players. Okay. 
pretty straightforward, and then right trigger to activate. Also, in case I didn't say before, holding down a button on your queue will allow you to do self-target, okay? So you wanna put your self-target abilities on your queue. So say here, hit my heel, I want to be able to hold that to cast it on myself. As you see, I can do it like that. So you tap once for the ability and then hold again to self-target, okay? That is the majority of everything you need to know to play New World on your Steam Deck. All right, guys, thanks for that. And stick around if you need to know how to install the Proton. And welcome back. So to install the uh, Proton, what you're going to want to do is you want to head down here to Discover. And you are searching for this here. Proton Up QT. And once you've downloaded that, you just want to load it up. That will be in your start file here and you can pull it out and put it on your desktop or leave it there. And you want to add a version. It's this easy. It'll probably, it'll automatically come to the latest version and you just go install. It'll take, you know, five, ten minutes, depending on your internet. Done. Restart the deck and it will then show up in your uh, Steam. And that is it. Easy as that. And this is Cryo Utilities. This is the other app I'm talking about. Um, yeah. If you want New World to run as you expect it, you're going to need Cryo. All right, guys. Thanks again. Catch you in the next one.